Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Timberin heavy duty axleless trailer suspension. This suspension system is gonna provide a nice, safe, smooth, and quiet ride for your trailer. You are gonna have these two independent units that will replace your existing axle on your trailer. Uh, these do have a weight capacity of one ton or uh, 2,200 pounds. Uh, this will work for your single axle or uh, dual axle trailers that use regular tires. Uh, it is not recommended for your triple axle applications. Uh, so having the two independent units here can eliminate the need for a through axle. That's going to help increase your ground clearance, it's going to lower your deck height for easier loading and unloading. Uh, it can also help reduce uh, the roll during cornering and uh, it, it's gonna fit any trailer width, so it's gonna be very easy uh, to uh, get this fitted onto your trailer. You're not gonna have to worry about finding the exact right length of uh, axle. You can see uh, with our spindles here, we are going to have a four inch drop, so that's going to give us an even lower deck height. Uh, these easy lube spindles here are going to uh, make it very easy for us to grease our bearings. So you can see we've got that built-in grease circ on the outside there. So we can just hook up our grease gun, pump some grease in there. It's going to come out through a hole on the backside here right, to fill up that uh, bearing and housing. Uh, this does uh, have the option to be removed. So if uh, the unit is ever damaged, uh, you can just uh, replace the spindle there instead of having to replace everything. Um, this does have the Aon springs here on the side. You can see uh, those are progressive rate main springs that are going to help absorb your road shock and support your trailer's load uh, as you're going down the road. So it's going to deliver a nice, smooth, stable ride regardless of your load size. So the more weight you put on your trailer, uh, the more they're going to compress and become stiff uh, to support that weight. If you have a, a light load or no load at all, uh, they're going to compress very lightly. And so it's going to um, help to reduce the rattling uh, that you sometimes get if your trailer is unloaded. The rebound springs on the back side here are going to uh, act as a return device to minimize that rattle and bottoming out. And that's going to create the constant pressure on the arm so that the suspension is never completely relaxed. Uh, these do have a built-in camber to them, uh, as well as a toe-in. That's going to help keep the trailer in uh, to track straight and reduce the wear on your tires, um, especially as you put it under load. It's going to make sure that everything is aligned properly. These are super easy to get installed. You can either bolt them on or weld them to your trailer's frame. They do not include the mounting hardware. Uh, you'll have to pick that up on your own, probably just local hardware store or something like that. One thing to keep in mind, uh, it's po possible that these can replace uh, an axle. You won't have to have an axle, uh, but it kind of depends on your trailer. So uh, if you do not have a cross member above the spot where you want to install this timbering system, uh, you're probably going to need to reinforce the frame. You can do that one of three ways. Uh, you can retrofit the trailer with a cross member. You can build out the trailer frame, or you can use a standard two inch steel tubing to connect the two timber and suspension units here. You can see there's a um, channel on the back side here that you can connect that to. Uh, just your, your standard two inch steel tubing. You can probably find that in the welding section at a local hardware store, something like that. Uh, so that's only if your trailer does not have uh, the uh, cross member above the spot where you're wanting to install these. So uh, just make sure that your trailer is gonna be nice and supported across there. Uh, those are the three options if you don't already have that support. These are a nice heavy duty steel construction with a black powder coat finish. So it's gonna uh, resist wear and corrosion. It's going to hold up really well for you. Um, these are going to do a really good job of helping to absorb that shock. Uh, not going to need much maintenance at all uh, other than, you know, greasing up, um, lubricating your uh, bearings there. Uh, but the rubber springs aren't going to require any maintenance. They're going to hold up really well 
and do a good job for you. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.